welcome into the today's video. Um, basically, <laughs> I, I, I will be a bro scientist today, so sit down and listen carefully because I have some knowledge to give you. If you feel depressed, and I know that I am no doctor and I can't give you advice on this topic, but if you feel depressed, then I think that I can help you. So listen carefully. If you do, you know, you indulge too much into doing something that feels good to you, like let's say masturbation, then you would normally, and it's very normal for you to feel bad after doing it because for a very short period of time, you felt so good so that there always has to be some sort of balance in you because that's how the human nature works. After you feel very good for a very short period of time, then you have to balance it out by feeling very bad for very long period of time. And I don't know if it does make sense to you, but for me, it, it absolutely does. If I indulge into doing the bad stuff, the eating the junk food, of course, I would feel like crap after doing it. And now listen carefully. If you do actually too much of this, if you, let's say, <laughs> at 8 a.m. you eat the junk food, at 9 a.m. you fap, at 10 a.m. you watch Netflix, and at 11 a.m. you something. It's normal for you to feel shitty for the rest of your day. And that's why you probably feel like, you know, you're literally depressed, like you don't have motivation to do anything. It's because all of your effort, effort, all of your energy and focus is has been put into this little box of pleasure. But what happens when the pleasure ends? <laughs> you, you feel like crap. And that's exactly why you should not do all of the, the, the feel good stuff. And especially at such short period of time, because your dopamine receptors will get this, this norm so that anytime you don't feel as good as during your masturbation sessions, then your brain thinks that you're depressed because at this moment you don't have so much of the dopamine rushing through your blood now. But if you, let's say, fap one more time, then yeah, you do feel good for a short period of time because it's sort of a norm for you. But what happens when you don't when you don't do the bad stuff, the norm of your dopamine receptors, something, I don't know, I am not a doctor, I am a bro scientist, is just so low, it, it doesn't feel right to you. And that's why you feel depressed. And the worst, literally the worst thing about this all is that when you do indulge into the, the instant, the easy pleasures of life, and if you do it consistently, let's say today you fap and tomorrow you, tomorrow you fap and two days after today <laughs> you will fap. In the span of those three days, today will probably be a quite pleasurable session for you. But tomorrow you would need to feel more dopamine, a bigger dopamine dose. Why is that? It's because your dopamine receptors have sort of adapted into feeling good. So now they need a bigger impact on them and they need a bigger dopamine rush to feel good. So let's say if you get up to the third day of fapping, then even something like masturbation won't literally won't give you pleasure. And you know why? It's because you've adapted into the state of feeling so much pleasure that even when you're indulging into the bad stuff, you don't feel good. And it's a constant cycle that... If, if you won't ever end, it, it won't ever end. And literally, as you do more bad stuff, then you are a worse and worse person. You're getting fatter, you're getting worse, you're getting more normal. And that's not what we're looking for here. We try to be as far from normal as possible. So don't indulge into the instant easy pleasures that life offers you. Stay hard and stay abnormal.